With access from the corridor of the sacristy in the left transept of the basilica, the museum displays the treasure of the basilica reconstituted after the sack of 846 and the sack of Rome in 1527, despite the further Napoleonic thinnings that followed the Treaty of Tolentino in 1797. What remains, enriched by works of art from the ancient and new basilica, is nevertheless a complex of exceptional value. In the first room a twisted column comes from the original Constantinian decorations of the tomb of St. Peter, which served as a model for Bernini's canopy, a golden metal rooster from the 9th century once stood on the top of the bell tower of the ancient basilica. In room 2, formerly the sacristy of the benefited clerics, the so-called Dalmatica of Charlemagne, embroidered with sacred episodes, is actually a Byzantine patriarchal sacos from the 12th century. The minor Storothek is a Byzantine reliquary from the 6th to 7th century, while the major Storothek, or Byzantine cross, was donated in the year 1837 by a canon of the Basilica of Our Lady in Maastricht, and dates back to the 10th to 11th century. Also on display here are fragments of Byzantine ivory diptychs, and the Vatican Crux, 6th century, a gift from Justin II to the city of Rome. In the following chapel of the benefited clerics, the Tabernacle of the Eucharistic Sacrament by Donatello, a Madonna of the Fever attributed to Lipomemi and an altarpiece by Girolamo Musiano stand out. The nearby cast of Michelangelo's Pieta was used for the restoration after the vandalism of 1972. On the window and above the door stories of St. Peter by Antonio Cavallucci. Room 3 is dominated by the large funerary monument of Sixtus IV, a bronze catafalque by Antonio del Palillo rich in symbolic representations of the arts and virtues. The passage to the next room is decorated by the Romanesque frame of Veronica, Saints Peter and Paul on copper and a wooden crucifix, the latter dating back to the 14th century. Room 4 and the following rooms have display cases with objects from the actual treasure. In the first room there is an 18th century cross in rock crystal, the piscatorial ring of Sixtus IV, the reliquary of Saint Blaise from the 14th century, that of Saint Sebastian from the 15th century and a bust of Saint Luke from the 14th century. Following in room B are the bronze cross and candlesticks by Sebastiano Torrigiani, two candlesticks traditionally attributed to Benvenuto Cellini, a cross with lapis lazuli, gilded silver candlesticks and rock crystal decorations by Antonio Gentili. In the six, gilded bronze statues of Saints Peter and Paul attributed to Sebastiano Torrigiani, the palace cross in rock crystal, 15th century, reliquaries, and monstrances from the 17th and 18th centuries. Here there is also a large original clay model by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1673, from which one of the bronze angels in the ciborium of the Chapel of the Sacrament was taken. In room 7 and 8 other display cases with sacred vases, chalices, monstrances, pyxes and other liturgical objects, donated to the popes by faithful, heads of state and rulers, a 13th century rock crystal cross, sacred wallpapers and embroidery, among which an 18th century frontal and tiara stand out which are used to dress the bronze statue of Saint Peter on his feast day. In room 9 the itinerary ends with an early Christian masterpiece, the sarcophagus of Giunio Basso. The Museum of Saint Peter's Basilica consists of the exhibition of what is known as the treasure of Saint Peter. It is therefore essentially a collection of liturgical furnishings, once used to carry out sacred functions in the basilica, but now withdrawn from use. For this reason it can be said that the treasury of St. Peter was born together with the basilica itself, that the history of the basilica and that of its treasure are the weft and warp of a single narrative fabric. Over the centuries, the treasury of San Pietro has experienced long periods of slow but continuous enrichment, punctuated however by moments of sudden and dramatic impoverishment. The violent looting of which the Vatican Basilica and, sometimes, the entire city of Rome were victims several times, resulted in the dispersion of the treasury of St. Peter. This happened in late antiquity, at the hands of the Visigoths, 410 AD, the Vandals, 455, and the Ostrogoths, 545. New raids also occurred during the Middle Ages, by the Saracens, 830, 846, and the Normans, 1084, and in the early modern age, by the Landsknechts, 1527. In more recent times the treasury suffered serious requisitions, 
At the end of the 18th century, during the occupation of Rome and the Papal State by the Jacobins, 1798-1799. After each of these dramatic events, the treasury of St. Peter's has always been reformed, on the basis of what had survived, thanks to the generosity of some benefactors who wanted to leave a tangible sign of their devotion to the Apostle Peter as a gift to the Vatican Basilica. Since the 11th century, the liturgical officiation of the Vatican Basilica, and with it the custody of the treasury of liturgical furnishings, vestments and sacred vessels, has been entrusted to the chapter of St. Peter. Until the beginning of the 20th century, the treasury of San Pietro was not open to the public. Only upon request did the canons of the chapter show it to scholars or distinguished guests. In 1909 the first museum arrangement of the treasury was achieved, divided into only two rooms. In addition to the liturgical furnishings, other objects linked to the history of the basilica and some works of art were also exhibited. After an initial expansion of the museum, in 1949, a more significant transformation took place in view of the Jubilee of 1975, by the architect Franco Minisi. The exhibition criteria were completely revised, and the aim was to enhance the individual works, according to the principle of the protagonism of the objects exhibited. In the years that followed, the museum underwent several changes and new layouts, which further modified its layout. Fifty years after its creation and in view of the upcoming Jubilee, a new project for the redevelopment and enhancement of the museum is being studied.